Hello my friends, welcome back to mattmindset.com. Have you ever struggled with what to say when you're introducing people to your company, okay, to your products, your business opportunity, whatever it is? Well today I hope, I'm hoping to help you out with that. And the, the phrase that I want you to remember that you can use all throughout the invitation process of getting somebody involved and even helping them progress through your business is are you open? Okay. Are you open? Burn those little words into your heart, into your mind. You want to remember those. They are so, so powerful. And here's why. When you say, are you open to whatever, people psychologically as human beings, we, we do not want to be closed-minded. Right? We want to be open-minded and we want to be open to things. We don't want to be closed to things. We want to be nice naturally. We want to be open. And so when you ask someone, are you open? they're already preconditioned to say yes. Okay. Now, one of the things that I notice with new people that get involved in network marketing and in my company where I do a lot of training is that when, when they're writing their list of people and they're thinking about people that they, that they would like to get involved either as customers or business builders, they immediately get petrified because in their minds they're thinking of, of as far forward as they could. Right? They're thinking, oh my God, goodness, is this person going to enroll? Are they going to sign up? Are they going to be a loyal customer? Uh, I, I need them to build a massive organization. I need them to build, you know, and they, they think about how they're going to get somebody to this intense builder of a business type of mentality, okay? And so just breathe for a minute, okay? When you're, when you're approaching people and when you're thinking about introducing people to your company, and take the first step with people, okay? Take people one step at a time. The first step is asking if they are open, okay? So I've got here, are you open on the little whiteboard? And the first step is learn, okay? That's it. Are you open to learn, okay? And it's most likely gonna, at least for us, I'm in a health and wellness company, and so for me, I almost always lead with the product. It's, are you open to learning about blank? and how it can benefit you in your health, okay? Now, see how non-threatening that question is? Are you open to learn about blank, okay? Very, very rarely do I get a no to that question. And that's why it's very easy for us to get people to events, and events are where the magic happens, right? Because that's where we educate people and we empower them. So, are you open to learn, okay? If you use that phrase, that simple phrase, you'll get so many more people to your events. Now. At your class, when you're closing people at the end, the question is, are you open to use? Okay, and if you're a little, if you're a little more on the shy side, you might say try. Are you open to try? Okay, uh, instead of saying, are you, you know, are you ready to buy? Okay, none of us want to be that salesy person. So, are you open to using these products in your lifestyle? Right? Or are you open to trying these products out for your health or for, you know, this service or whatever it is? Again. A very, very effective way to close people in a non-pressure atmosphere and where you actually get results, right? Because people want to be open and people probably want to, to follow the education that you're teaching them, okay? They just need somebody to open that door for them. So you have to ask the question, are you open to using or are you open to trying, okay? The next step is after you have somebody in your business, you want to ask them, are you open to living, okay? And this means living the lifestyle. So this is more than just you know purchasing the products. This is, hey, are you open to getting on an auto ship, for example? Are you open to consistently bringing these products into your family's life, okay? Are you open to living the lifestyle, okay? And we do that after somebody's already enrolled. So before somebody's enrolled, you're just saying, are you open to learn? Are you open to use? And then once they're customers, are you open to living, okay? Some people will say no to this, and that's totally fine. The next step is share, okay? After you have a customer, you say, hey, listen, are you open to sharing this with some of your friends? Now that you've seen some of the benefits, I'm curious, would you be open to sharing this with some, you know, your, your, your mom, your dad, your, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, whoever it is? And for us, that's usually inviting people to host an event for us where we come and teach a few of their contacts. Um, but that could, that could look like them doing it themselves if they're really excited about the products, right? But that's the next step. Are you open to share? Okay. And the last is obviously, are you open to build?
Okay, so a few people are going to decide after living the lifestyle that they'd like to share the products. And a few of those people, after they've had a successful class or event, uh, had a few customers sign up, maybe they got a check in the mail. If you ask them this question, are you open to learning how to you know, add another $1,000 to your income doing exactly what you've already done? See how easy that is? Are you open to building the business, to learning about the business? So that, in my opinion, is the most powerful phrase that you can use in your business all throughout the invitation process, helping people go from step to step in your business. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, let me know in a comment or in a private message, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.